Hi everyone, I'm Becky here from Notes in the Sewing Room. Thanks for joining me today. You are joining me for my Sew Frugal 24 video, which is gonna be all about some sewing inspiration for the sewing challenge, which basically involves free sewing patterns and any fabric that you've got at home in your stash. Now this challenge, I think it's in its fourth year. I've taken part each year so far. I love it because it gives me something a little bit different to focus on in terms of free patterns, rather than just going to your kind of um, independent brands or um, you know, your kind of um, big sewing companies. It's, it's quite nice to actually have a look out there uh, to see what else is available in terms of free patterns and what you can make. Um, now over the course of March, there are loads of sewing vloggers, I think probably about 60, um, taking part in this challenge and sharing their kind of thoughts and inspiration on um, what kinds of things they're planning on making and also sharing different fabrics and whatnot so far. Um, there's been um, some fantastic ones so far during the course of March. Um, obviously, we're coming towards the end of March now. Um, so if you check back um, online um, on YouTube, you'll be able to find um, lots of inspiration if you haven't seen any of the other videos so far. Now, this challenge is being organised by Sam from Frugalissima and also Ruan from the Yorkshire Sew Girl. And um, they do a fantastic job uh, because they have got a, um, a whole range of different prizes available again this year. Absolutely a fantastic range of companies have come forward to give uh, different prizes, um, vouchers for this and that. Um, Anyway, Sam and, and Ruan have got all the information on their channels, both Instagram and YouTube, about um, all the different prizes and whatnot. So I won't go into that too much. Um, but basically, all you have to do to take part in this um, fantastic sewing challenge is um, post your reveal video on, um, should, should I say, not video, <laughs> what? What am I saying? Um, you need to post your uh, reveal post, so your final make of, of the sewing thing that you've put together um, on Instagram on the 31st of March um, and include some photographs of uh, what you've made um, using um, the different sewing pattern. Um, obviously mention what pattern you've used and that kind of thing and tag in Ruan and Sam. Um, and of course use the hashtag so frugal24, hashtag so frugal24, um, and um, you'll be entered into the prize draw. So um, of course I'm going to be taking part and that's um, what today's video is all about. So I thought I'd start this video by sharing um, some of the patterns that I've made before in terms of free sewing patterns and um, ones that I've really liked and then kind of go on to talking about what I'm planning on making this year. Um, so I hope that sounds okay to you. Um, I hope you're having a fantastic day, by the way, wherever you are in the world. Um, I'm in the UK and it's getting pretty warm here today. Um, it feels like spring, so that's rather nice because uh, we've had lots of drab, horrible days recently and um, it's quite nice to be able to kind of get out and not have to wear a jacket. So yes, it's really lovely to get the, the sun out and just makes you feel a little bit extra happy, I think. <laughs> You may notice also that I'm wearing different glasses today. Um, I don't know if you have noticed that or not. Uh, not too many people have noticed actually um, in real life, I must say. Um, but my um, little boy hid my glasses somewhere in the house and I don't know where he's put them. So I basically had three or four days with no glasses at all, uh, which was really annoying. I have looked everywhere in the house that he possibly could have hidden them. Of course, I've asked him as well, like where he might have put them, um, but no joy. So <laughs> I've had to get some new glasses. So um, I hope you like them. Um, they're a bit of a rush purchase, um, but uh, we were going away to Suffolk for the week and I knew that I couldn't manage without my glasses because that would mean that I couldn't drive or anything like that. Um, so I needed to get some glasses and thankfully Vision Express came to my rescue and um, put the glasses together inside a day for me. So um, yeah, two thumbs up and I've got some new glasses. So that's lovely. Right, let's go back to uh, the subject in hand and talk about um, so frugal and different uh, free sewing patterns. Obviously there are loads available online. So the ones I'm gonna talk about are not you know, the be all and end all of, of what's available. There are stack loads available online, but these are some of the ones that I've made before and I've really enjoyed. So the first one is um, Sinclair Patterns and it's the Valley Knit Skater Dress. So I'm just gonna show you um, the version that I made before. And I think I'm probably gonna have a go at doing this one again. I've been wanting to do it for ages again and for whatever reason, just not got around to it. So this is the version that I made previously. It's got these bell sleeves, if you can see, I think that's what they're called. Oh, actually, no, I think they're called lantern sleeves. That's right. So they've actually got um, a piece of fabric going down to, um, 
I don't know, like the upper arm, and then you've got an extra bit of fabric, and then you've also got a final um, band which finishes the arm, um, which is quite smart. So you've got this kind of scooped neckline. It's quite high, to be honest, on the neck. Um, there is a tummy band here, and then it goes into a bit of a pleated skirt. So um, I made this out of a Ponty fabric, um, which I think I bought from Minerva. Um, I made this probably as part of one of the first or second So Frugal challenges that there, there was. And um, I have had a lot of wear out of it, but I would say I, I chose the wrong fabric, I think. Um, it's quite a heavyweight fabric. It's not got loads of stretch to it. So basically, I find that when I'm wearing it, it's a little bit annoying. Um, it looks it looks fine when it's on, um, but around the arms, I just feel like it's slightly tight. Um, so I think um, if I was to make it again, I'd make it in something that got a bit more of a stretch to it. Um, but it's a lovely pattern um, and I would definitely recommend it to you if you're looking for something of this sort to have a go at. Um, so there's three different versions in the pattern pack that you can actually have a go at doing. Um, you can make this kind of version that I've made so far. You can make a tunic version, which has got long sleeves. So I guess you could also mix and match the long sleeves uh, with the dress version if you wanted to. And there's also a sleeveless version of the dress as well. Um, so I guess if you wanted to make it for summer, then you could make it with no sleeves. Um, yeah, you've got lots of different options, but three different versions in the pattern pack to have a go at. Now, if you do have a look on the Sinclair uh, patterns website and I'll also put in a bit of footage and um, there are quite a lot of different pictures of um, different sewers who have made this pattern and the different fabrics that they've used and loads of inspiration there so I know that I found that really useful when I was looking to have a go at making this pattern myself um, and even um, to be honest today when I've had another look I thought oh yeah that's really nice oh that's a good idea so it's definitely worth having a little look at all the different versions that they've got um, in terms of photographs on their website. So this is a PDF download, um, which you can download um, at home, or you can send it off, I think, to a copy shop and have it printed there. Now, this is a free pattern, um, so it does fit in with the challenge. Um, I have had another look this morning just to make sure that it is free, and as far as I can see, it is still free, even though I downloaded my version quite a while ago. Um, but um, yeah, it's a lovely pattern, and um, particularly because you've got those three different things you can try, I think it's um, definitely worth one um, having a think about and giving a go. Um, I think if I was to have a go at doing this again, though, as I said, I'd use a different fabric, possibly um, a cotton jersey, um, or something along that line, something that's got a little bit of structure, but equally has got plenty of stretch because this was just not quite right, I don't think. Even though it's kind of looks nice and all of that, it's just, I don't know, not probably my favourite material that I've ever worked with, to be honest, which is a shame. Um, but, you know, there we are. That happens, doesn't it? Uh, the second pattern that I wanted to chat to you about is one that I have loved making and loved wearing. I've made it twice before and it's a great pattern. So this is the Sew Over It Ruby Skirt. So um, I know I've heard a few other vloggers mention this pattern as well. Um, and this is one of the versions that I made. So I made this in a Lady McElroy um, cotton lawn fabric with these gorgeous lemons all over it. Um, I used a yellow button down the front as well. Um, so if you are unfamiliar with this pattern, it's kind of a midi length skirt pattern uh, which has got a flat waistband at the front and it's got an elastic waistband at the back. Um, I will put in a picture or uh, some video of whatnot of me actually wearing this uh, skirt so you can actually see what it looks like. Um, I decided to shorten this version a little bit um, because I didn't want it to be quite so long. Um, I made this version in a straight size 12 with no changes. Um, it's got quite a lot of room of quite a lot of flair to the skirt. Um, it's certainly not fitted um, at all apart from at the waist. Um, it's a lovely pattern. It is free to download from the Sew Over It website. Um, I like the button detail which runs from the top to the bottom um, and you can also add on patch pockets if you wanted to. Um, I decided not to add on patch pockets because um, they're not my favourite thing to be honest, patch pockets. Um, sometimes I find that they kind of like hang forwards a little bit and I probably just prefer like inseam pockets um, but I decided just to um, go without any pockets to be honest on this version. Um, now out of the two versions that I've made I think the cotton lawn version has worked the best um, and I have um, enjoyed probably wearing this one more than the other one. I'll just show you the other one so you can see um, the difference. So this is the other version that I made. Um, so this one's actually made in a cotton poplin fabric. Um, I've used a green button all the way down the front of this one. Um, again, it's got the same features, the flat waistband at the front, the elastic at the back, all the same apart from the sizing, uh, because I decided that I made the size 12 uh, during my pregnancy. And I thought, actually, maybe I'll make another version 
I actually still made it when I was pregnant, to be honest, but thinking about it for like after I was pregnant. So I might kind of downsize a little bit. So I kind of went between a 10 and a 12 um, and I kind of changed up the length a little bit and um, cut it a little bit shorter. And I don't know, I think I probably should have just stuck with the 12. This one fits, but I think it's probably a combination of the cotton poplin fabric being a little bit more um, fitted. Um, I don't know, not having as much give to it. I don't suppose cotton lawn's really got any give, but. I don't know this one just feels different when it's on and i prefer the lawn version um but i mean this is this is nice um i really like the fabric i love the the, the floral print on there the pinks and the greens so it is ideal to wear during the summer um but i think if i was to make this again i would go for a lawn rather than a poplin but that's just me personally you might make it in a poplin or a linen or um some of the kind of like weight ish fabric um and like that the best so I don't know. We've all, we've all got our uh, differences and things that we like, haven't we? But um, I think if I'm using a woven, I do enjoy a cotton lawn. So yeah. But this is a great free pattern. And as I said, it's from Sew Over It. I, I'm a big fan of Sew Over It patterns. So um, yeah, you could give this one a go as part of the challenge. Pattern number three that I have made recently and I love, um, and it's a free pattern, is the Sew Over It Adele top. So this is actually free if you join the VIP club. So I suppose it's not free to join the VIP club, but it is a free pattern download that you can get if you do, if that makes sense. So I think it's okay to use as part of the challenge. So I'm actually wearing an Adele top, um, which is this version um, made in some fabric from by Grazia by Graziella uh, Fabrics uh, with the hearts on. Um, so it's got a scooped neck here and it's got a scooped back as well. So it's a lovely pattern. Um, I have made it three times already. Um, this is this is a quite a short sleeve version because I made it out of just a meter of fabric. Um, but um, I've also made this version here, um, which is made out of, they're all a, a cotton jersey actually, I should say. Um, so this one's nice. It's got a bit of a gold fleck in this fabric. Um, if I turn that around, you can see it's got quite a scoop on the back as well, which I think is a really nice feature. Um, so this is the three quarter length arm version, but I've also made a version that's got long sleeves as well. And that is a grey version. So, um, yeah, I quite like it that you've got different options that you can do. Um, I made this in a straight size 10 um, with no changes and I'm really happy with the fit. Um, I would definitely consider making this again as part of the challenge or afterwards. Um, I think it's gone right up there in terms of one of my favourite t-shirt patterns to wear. I think just because I, I do enjoy a scoop neck that's not too low, but not too high, if that makes sense. And I quite like it that it's got the scooped back as well, because it just gives it that something a little bit different. Almost makes the t-shirt like a little bit more dressy somehow, I think. Um, Maybe that's just me. Um, but I do like this one. So that is something to consider uh, if you are looking for ideas as part of this challenge. So I've got one other t-shirt pattern that I wanted to chat to you about. And then I'll go on to tell you about um, the fabrics and patterns that I'm hoping to have a go at this time. So the next pattern that I wanted to talk to you about is the Forget Me Not Patterns Vera Top. So when I downloaded this, it was absolutely free. Uh, when I've checked again, um, you can get it for free but you can also make a donation um, to pay for the pattern. So obviously that's up to you. Now, as part of the So Frugal Challenge, um, we are supposed to be using free patterns rather than ones that you pay for. Um, so this is just really an idea. You can still get this one for free. So theoretically, you can still use it as part of the challenge, um, but on their website, they are sort of saying, um, that you can um, give a donation if you would like to. Um, so this is, as I said, the Vera top. Um, this is a really nice one. It's um, got a long sleeve, or this version as that I've, I've made, um, a, a little bit of a round neckline, so it's not too scooped. It's quite high-ish, to be honest, for me, um, the neckline on this one. I made this in a cotton jersey. As you can see, it's mustard and white striped. Um, so it's completely flat at the top of the arm, around the shoulder, um, but then it goes down to be gathered into the cuff. And unusually, it's quite a long cuff, but I quite like that because it, it you know, it is something a little bit different to other things that I'd already got in terms of like jersey tops. Um, so yeah, this, this is a lovely top. Um, it gets a lot of wear over the winter months um, and when the weather's a little bit cooler. Um, it's quite fitted through the body. Um, you can actually make this, of course, uh, without um, the gathered cuff if you would like to. Uh, there is a three quarter length arm version, I think available on the as, as part of the pattern pack as well. Um, so you could give that one a go. I'll show you the other version that I've made. Um, the other version was in a white cotton jersey, which has got little black dots on. 
So this is the other version that I made um, in, th in this fabric here. Um, so again, it's exactly the same version in terms of it being gathered into the long uh, cuff and whatnot that I did last time, just a different colorway of fabric, um, just to give you a bit of an idea of what it looks like um, made up in a different print. So what am I gonna have a go at doing this time? Well, I've had a look through my fabric stash and I've been having a look at things that I've had for, you know, at least a couple of months, um, cause I think then that hopefully qualifies as part of the challenge. Um, and I've come up with a couple of things. So um, I've got a Jersey fabric here, which I have had for quite a long time, probably mo what, months and months. I'm not quite sure how long. Um, I can't remember how much I've got exactly, but I've got, at least a couple of meters here so hopefully enough for a dress um, and as you can see it's this animal print so it's got a kind of coral background uh, with this kind of um, black animal print uh, on there i've had this fabric before in a mustard and i made a little top out of it which was lovely so i quite fancy having a go at doing a summery type dress out of this version so i thought i'd have a go at doing the um, skater dress which I showed you earlier on in the video um, the Sinclair patterns dress uh, but this time I think I'm going to add on a little bit of extra seam allowance um, particularly around the waist and the sleeve just to give myself a little bit more wiggle room just to feel a little bit more comfortable um, but hopefully um, this will be really nice I think it'll be super practical as well because it's in this nice kind of comfortable um, jersey fabric I think hopefully it'll be one that I can reach for um, you know in kind of spring um, going into summertime as well um, so ideal really for this time of the year um, I spend a lot of my time um, crawling around um, with my young children so whether that's kind of in the garden, at baby classes, um, out and about, um, you know, that kind of thing. But I like to wear dresses and skirts and that sort of thing. That's kind of like my thing that I just like to do. Um, but I do like to wear things that make me uh, feel like a little bit put together as well. But I, I often wear Converse, pumps, um, that kind of thing with them to kind of dress them down and also be practical and comfortable as well. Um, but I think um, jersey dresses are ideal for me at the minute um, or jersey tops, cardigans, denim skirts, that sort of stuff. Um, so hopefully this will work really nicely for me. Um, so yeah, that's one idea. And then the second thing that I was thinking that I'd have a go at making and if I can make two things, I'm going to be really happy. If I can make one, then... I, only, I can only make, make one, um, but we'll see because time's getting on in March. Um, I've got quite a lot going on at the moment, including a leak in my house today, which is not great downstairs. Um, so yeah, lot, lot, lots to occupy my time, um, as well as a three and a half year old and a, um, a four month, coming up four month old as well. Um, so yeah, lot, lot, lots happening in my house at the moment. Um, but the, um, the other thing that I was planning on maybe having a go at is the Sew Over It Ruby skirt again. So obviously I've made two versions before. As I said, I really like that pattern and it's something that I would um, have a go at doing again. Um, so as I mentioned, I like the lawn version um, the best. So I was having a look at what cotton lawns I've actually got and I come up with this one. So this is one that I've probably had a couple of months actually um, in my stash. And this was from Merry Made Fabrics. Um, I think they're actually one of the sponsors this year, actually, as part of uh, So Frugal. Um, and it's kind of Liberty-esque, I think. Um, it's not Liberty. Um, it was much cheaper than buying a Liberty fabric. Um, but it did kind of um, remind me of that. Um, so it's got this kind of blue background um, with a kind of, I don't know what they are, actually, like berries or flowers or something on there. Um, but it's really pretty. Um, so I was thinking that if I use this for the skirt, maybe I could use a kind of burgundy red kind of button um, that would run from the top of the skirt uh, down to the bottom um, as part of that button closure. So that's what I'm thinking. Do you like my plans? Um, if you do, then do let me know. Um, if you've got any other ideas of patterns as well that you, you're trying or you've tried before you think I might like, then uh, do let me know in the comments section below. Um, also, do let me know if you've tried any of these patterns already yourself, what you thought of them um, and how you got on, what fabrics you used and that kind of thing. Um, I always find that, you know, inspirational and it's interesting to hear what other people are using. Um, but yeah, that's that's all I've really got to talk about today. So it was kind of just showing you those patterns and whatnot that I've made before that I've enjoyed doing um, and that, um, you know, are, are free and you could use as part of the challenge and also chatting to you about the things I'm hopefully going to have a go at doing myself um, this month as part of the challenge as well. Um, so just to recap, um, all you need to do is 
is make something during the month of March um, using a pattern that you've um, using some a free pattern and also um, some fabric that you've got in your stash at home. You need to use the hashtag so frugal 24 uh, tag in um frugalissima and the yorkshire sew girl on instagram on the 31st of march with a picture of um, what you've made um what pattern you used etc give all the details and then you'll be entered into the free prize draw to win one of the fantastic prizes um, that are on offer um, so i hope you've enjoyed watching this video today um, i always enjoy having you with me um, do keep an eye on my channel for future videos um, i am going to be putting out a makes video soon as well of things that i've been um, up to uh, in terms of my sewing projects um, i'm currently working on a new little jacket project so i'm looking forward to sharing that on with you soon um, i went to a sewing day with one of my friends um, just the other day which was fantastic um, i really had a lovely day um, and it gave me some proper concentration time in terms of like sewing um, and i was able to start making my quilted jacket so i'm really pleased with that so just got um, to put the lining and the outer bit together uh, which probably seems quite straightforward but i know it's going to take me longer than um i'm probably thinking that it will um but um i'll update you on that at some point soon anyway uh, but until then i'll leave it there thank you so much for joining me today and i'll see you again really soon